Kasunduin na makapag sunduan natin na tayo mahal natin ng Pilipino. Bongbong Marcos Jr. is the front runner in the presidential election in May. But for someone who is running on a platform of unity, he is seen as the most divisive candidate. That's because the Marcos name conjures up images of corruption, decadence, and oppressive rule. Many say it was the day when democracy died. On September 21, 1972, martial law was imposed by former President Ferdinand Marcos. Thousands were jailed, tortured, and killed. That brutal rule lasted for 14 years, and it remains to be the darkest period in recent Philippine history. 64-year-old Bongbong is the only son of the dictator Ferdinand Marcos Sr. He died in exile in Hawaii after the revolution which toppled him in 1986. It may seem surprising to many now, but the Marcos political resurgence didn't happen instantly. Political observers say the Marcoses have spent years using social media to rewrite history. Marcos, Despite widespread outrage in 2017, President Rodrigo Duterte allowed his predecessor to be buried in the revered Hero Cemetery in Manila. Many say the rehabilitation of the Marcos image is nearly complete. Marcos simply wants to preserve his family's ill-gotten wealth. And once guaranteed that, he probably let things be handled by more interested and more self-interested people. It will be a continuation of the old regime. Despite his political pedigree, Marcus Jr. has been married with cases and debts, both here and abroad. He was convicted of tax evasion, his family's multi-million dollar estate tax remains unpaid, and he is facing the largest ever contempt case filed by a U.S. court. Al Jazeera requested an interview with the Marcus campaign team, but we didn't get a response. The candidate has also missed other media interviews and most of the presidential debates. But Bongbong Marcus Jr. says all he ever wants is to return the country to its former glory. For many Filipinos here, all they see is a son desperate to lead the country that others accuse his parents of ransacking. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.